make sure we're live. Sound should be coming out okay. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is November 18th, 2020. And uh, we're starting a set of live streams where we're basically, uh, we're, uh, we got a whole bunch of streams set up basically. And this is the first, I think of seven or eight uh, streams that we're doing. The last set of streams we ended with doing sort of an auction where people were using up their uh, Twitch points that they've gathered up over the last uh, two, three years, three years, I guess now, right? And we auctioned off a whole bunch of stuff, comic books, as well as honey and jam. Okay, homemade honey by Chicho, comic books from my publishing company from the mid-19, early 1990s, mid-1990s uh, that I ended up publishing, plus some local West Coast Island honey, right? So we auctioned some of these things off and people sent me their addresses. So we're going to package some of the stuff up right now as many as as we can in the next couple of hours there's a whole bunch here <laughs> i need to sort of organize things in boxes and whatnot make sure things go to the right places okay um so we ended the last set of streams with auctioning them off we're starting this set of streams with packaging packaging these things off and i'll package everything up um in the next couple of days whatever we end up packaging today i'll try to get into the mail in the next couple of days and on the weekend i'll package up whatever is left over and send them off early next week for those of you that won the auctions elder god how are you doing top of the <laughs> vaccine 12. <laughs> hilarious <laughs> big pots and ba banging pots and pans in the streets man no mandatory right and um and we'll send those off. Now, I can't guarantee that I, I, the odds are there's not going to be tracking on too many of these. The ones in Canada, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put tracking on. The ones in going to the United States, they'll probably be tracking on, depending on the cost of tracking and shipping, because costs have gone through the roof in the last few months. So it's a little crazy. Dr. P, how are you doing? Greetings, blessings. Hope everybody's doing well. I've been looking forward to these set of live streams and just a heads up gang we have uh we got contacted uh, by movers we had like a sort of a buffet piece coming our way lark mark redeemed ten thousand points lark mark. <laughs> awesome <laughs> i love it lark mark <laughs> but you keep you can keep your points by the way remember there's going to be more auctions coming up in the in the future in the next few months right so we'll definitely do those Okay. Hello, Chicho. How are you doing, buddy? Doing fantastic, Lark. You crack me up, man. You crack me up. Shirtless Kylo. Uh, no, no, no. I got your address. <laughs> Knights of Old Comic, we need the address for. <laughs> doing well, uh, Shirts of Carlo. Hope you're doing well as well. Funny, funny, funny. Um, just to let you know, there's, there's supposed to be movers coming in soon because there's a sort of an antique teaks buffet, buffet thing that. Uh, we ended up getting from one of our relatives. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to interrupt the stream and go take care of business because uh, my partner is going to be taking care of it. Um, but just to let you know, hopefully they won't be too noisy or anything like this. We'll see what happens. It was unavoidable, right? I try something. I, I try sometimes. Love, I love Chicho. Love your stream. Always put me in a good relaxing. Awesome, awesome lark bark. Um, aside from that, before everyone pops in, I'm going to give you guys my little intro. Hannah, how are you doing? Hi, Chicho. Congrats on 1,000 videos on YouTube. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's uh, It's been a fun ride so far, man. I don't need tracking. It's all good. Okay. I, I just assume tracking tracking is almost guaranteed to get there uh, i've only had a couple of packages from the ebay stuff that didn't get delivered and those are the ones i didn't put tracking on and i'm pretty sure they did get delivered but the people that were supposed to get them they figured they get free comics so they, they said it didn't get delivered so we'll see all notifications sent out awesome gang i am on patreon <coughs> patreon.com uh, forward slash chicho hannah uh, if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is fantastic we do 
fantastic way to do so i don't put anything beyond paywalls everything is creative commons share and share alike share and share alike right if the technocrats and centralized power want to censor uh discourse it's our obligations to open up the platforms and talk about more and more things especially the sensitive topics i don't think we're going to be talking sensitive topics today but we will be in a couple of days right and those uh, the politics one the current uh, event stream one will definitely in two days we're going to do uh, that's definitely going to be a bit shoot exclusive there's no way the censors will allow us to put it on youtube uh we we might we don't want to run the risk of getting deep platform by the technocrats right uh, and we're going to do a cooking stream tomorrow right so and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon gang thank you very much for the support appreciate it um and everything's layer on mathematics of course right and we're going to have a math stream friday i think yeah friday current events in three days right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat boop, 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 boop. twitch is where you want to be at and gang for those of you who've been supporting this work through twitch Thank you very much for the support, for the subs, for the follows, for being here, for redeeming your <laughs> redeeming points, <laughs> for participating in the discussion, right? Fun ride, fun ride, right? I do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Allo, Minds, VK, Gap, and Twitter. You can follow the work there and all the links will be in the description of this video. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we do record the audio on uh, lapel mic and upload, upload the audios to SoundCloud. Okay. For this one, we're not recording on a lapel mic because we've got some visuals going on, I guess. And uh, But at some point, we're going to be uploading a lot more audio to SoundCloud. And if you want to follow the work there, uh, you can follow on soundcloud.com, Chicho. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. And in early 2020, in early 2021, um, we're gonna add a third video sharing platform on it, on uh, on our repertoire, on our decentralization. So either gonna be Rofkin or um, Rumble or uh, Odyssey. Uh, D2, Dr. V says D2. Uh, I, I, I sort of, uh, the, the three I think I'm going, going with is either Rufkin, uh, Odyssey, or uh, Rumble, um, D Live. You want D Live? Uh, let, let's see where it goes. Let's see where it takes us. There's a lot of changes coming. Like the, the alternative platforms are so so much going on so much going on right if you are invested in twitter aside from square if you got their stock you, got, you check out how to see their payment platform things working out on square but if that's a dud man if you got anyway i might be totally wrong on this this is not financial advice if you got if you're invested in twitter get the hell out of that thing uh people are going to be jumping ship uh, unless they're they've done what facebook did which is totally uh, decentralize their platform right where the revenue streams are not just the advertisements on twitter mainly right they're getting other revenue streams coming on because uh, i'm guessing twitter is going to have some serious hard times in the coming years right chicho how's it going lonely piggy how are you doing lonely piggy my snacks autumn olive autumn olive autumn olive I'm still munching on the autumn olive gang okay it's super super crazy delicious super super crazy delicious like so tasty so tasty right Doop. I'll show you look at this look at the juiciness of these things look at that guy is it gonna focus I doubt it so much going on so much going on no I just comes off D2 currency went live recently. It's doing really well. TDC, uh, DTC. Okay, I I created a D2 or D Live account a long time ago, um, but I decided not to go with it yet. Let me take these guys down. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, but we'll see where it goes. How's uh, the notifications have gone out? By the way, gang, I got a comic book call. 
I got something came in. Should I show you what it is before we get into the packing? I'm not sure how many of these things we're going to end up packing, by the way. Uh, DTube is the upload, like YouTube, and DLive is a live stream platform. Oh, is that what it is? DLive? So I got a DTube account. I don't have DLive account. Um, I haven't thought about live streaming on another platform yet. And I really, I don't want to live, start live streaming on another platform. Check out, check out this thing. Let me show you what this is. This is a CGC or a C B C C B thing. <laughs> the graded book. I gotta look into it, uh, Doctor P. I agree. I like Twitch still. I like Twitch. I like Twitch. Uh, so I want to stick with it. Uh, what's the best way to crack this open? Let's check this out. And there's one person that we don't have the address for yet to send these packages off. Just if you want it to be blockchain supporting, those are the go-tos. Yeah, yeah. And the blockchain, man, what's going on is a little crazy regarding... What the hell? Okay, let's try this aside. Let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna crack this open. Oop. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. There we go. Yeah, that's it. The crypto stuff is crazy right now. Uh, there's some funky stuff going on. I'm in Facebook jail again. They really didn't like my COVID memes. <laughs> Hilarious. How about that? that box. I know. What's up? Check this out. Look at this. Poofy. Poofy, poofy. We're going to use some of these poofies for uh, for our packaging. So that's good. Let's throw that over there. This thing is a graded book, slap book. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Look at this guy. Wow. This guy's not joking around. Um, with shipping, it costs um, 75 bucks US. Okay. And it's a Golden Age book. Awesome packaging, <laughs> crazy packaging. Oh my god, and it's got the, what do you call it? This stuff are all around it. Damn. Like serious. Wow. I think the whole two hours is going to be unpacking this guy. <laughs> oh goodness, Facebook is garbage anyway, even though I'm guilty of having one. Yeah, oh yeah, Lark. Facebook, I agree with Lark. Facebook is just garbage, really. Like, the censorship there is insane. Like, if you only... If there's people that only get their news from Facebook. It's like... Wow. How could you? Twitter is beyond garbage. Yeah. Eagle, Eagles on cycling Twitter is a joke and a half now. <laughs> like, crazy. And the guy, the CEO of Twitter? Man, what a... What a... What a joke. What a joke. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Insane. I'm surprised I haven't banned from... Yeah, I don't... I don't really participate in Facebook, so... Nice. Check this out. Check this out. 19... 19... 
1948. Okay. Let me take it out. Jack Dorsey sucks. <laughs> Shirtless. God loves those. Nice. Wild West number two, 1948, cover and art, Sid Shores, and Sid Shores is huge, right? Sid Shores is huge. He worked on a lot of uh, Atlas Timely comics, early Marvel, right? And um, he worked some of the original uh, Captain America comics, a lot of the some mystery comics from that period, Golden Age horror, and Western comics, right? Beautiful cover. beautiful and uh, art by gene colon as well and stories by bill Woolfolk. will for folk okay very pretty 4.5 including shipping it costs around 75 bucks us from 1948 uh, pretty good price uh, two gun kit story no guns for a killer arizona annie story um Arizona Annie story uh, what does it say the town that wasn't there uh, text story the payoff uh, text Taylor story blazing six shooter and the thundering herd the case has got a little bit of on the text of this over here it's got a little bit of imperfection inside the case right there you see it on the writing but I don't think it's a big deal. And the case doesn't have any cracks or anything, so that's perfect. Nice. I offer 20K. <laughs> of to uh, uh, BitChute, of, uh, not BitChute, uh, uh, Twitch points, right? Pretty good. I was happy to get this. I wasn't expecting to be able to get it at this cheap. I just lowballed it, and um, I didn't expect to be able to get this, and I ended up getting it. So I was happy with it. I was hoping to be able to distribute the shipping costs by gr grabbing a couple of more cheaper stuff, but uh, I didn't get any of the other low balls. My Mark Zuckerberg, yeah. <laughs> Those are not nice people, man. Hey, Chicho. Eagles and cycling. Uh, did you ever listen to Art Bell? Yeah, in the 90s, yeah. Late night radio guy. Very interesting content. Shame he died a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art Bell was one of the originals, right? A fantastic talk show fantastic talk show right damn that comic looks good it's pretty good keep a shooting another couple of inches and the kid will be over the cliff see this like they're right up right at the edge of the cliff and these bad guys are trying to I guess they're trying to kill the kid I don't know why Gina how you doing Chicho and right super cool very cool. Glad to have this. Gang, should we package some stuff? Let's package some stuff. Let me move this over. I'm going to put this guy here. So what should we start off with? Uh, an Elder God. I got something extra that we're going to ship uh, ship to you. Okay. Oh, let me put this in the bag. For some reason, the bag's small. <laughs> it's a short bag. Weird. Um, I got something else that's going to come, come with the comics, but let's do, uh, uh, let's do, um, let's do one of the jams and stuff first. Okay. I got a little box here. Let's bring this. I'm going to, cause we've got a whole bunch of jams going out, right? I'll go first. Shirtless Kylo. Shirtless. Oh, shirtless Kylo. It is you first. Check this out. Oh, I can't. Sh I'm not going to show you your address, but shirtless Kylo, right? <laughs> shirtless Kylo. The people got me signing the covers, <laughs> not the covers, the lid of the jams. Do you want me to sign this thing? Like everybody said, sign it. So, or some people said, sign it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me sign this thing. So we're going to fit this thing in here, right? We're going to put bubbles bubble wrap all around it and fit it in there okay let's do this and my writing sucks brother so <laughs> like 
chicken scratch. <laughs> so I gotta crack this open. I'm just gonna wrap it full of this bubbly gold felt pen. Gold felt pen. What's this? Oh, this is good too. But I'm gonna put it. In, and this is uh, this is honey, by the way. This is your honey. Awesome very delicious we got a whole bunch of honey i picked it up yes uh yesterday supposedly this year was a good honey supply yeah we'll put it on uh, i got some additional bubble wrap so i'm gonna wrap it up in this okay yeah it's good honey i picked up this year's honey was expensive though like I, we picked up a whole bunch because this local unpasteurized uh, like I, I can't say it's organic because they don't sell it they don't label it as organic but it's all natural outside right? so uh, even though if it was more expensive we ended up picking a whole bunch because uh, it'll last us a while and these auctions went fantastic <laughs> so we'll auction up more honey in the future uh carlos chicho what's up man hope you're having a fantastic afternoon and hello to the chat hello carlos how are you doing connor how are you doing hope life as well so let's just wrap this baby up here i'm gonna do it this way so i'm just gonna wrap it up like this okay and tape it we'll do it like this Oop. and we'll put tape all around this so that should be fine right where's this going to can I say which state you're in, uh, shirtless Kylo? You've signed a contract to keep making Jaffer life. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes, sir. This this honey from the west coast of Canada is gonna go all the way down to Texas. Woohoo! Best state in the union. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, Shirtless Kaido, for me, one of my greatest teachers is Bill Hicks. And Bill Hicks was from Texas. So, agreed. Best state in the union. Man, you guys, you guys had Bill Hicks there. So, to me, uh, best state in the union. Even though I love Terrence McKenna and whatnot, Bill Hicks was definitely phenomenal right the lone star state partner bill hicks rest in peace he's very missed he's very missed man very very missed if you guys have never listened to uh relentless it's a performance he did <laughs> it's like sketchy this performance he did in london i believe isn't alex jones bill no <laughs> alex jones is from texas too i believe though all right let's check it out see so that'll work let's put this around it too. <laughs> the butthole suffers are from the dallas texas really good band the bundle surfer really? okay this will make it there right. this will make it there i gotta rip this off This is the old old labels, right? And if the noise of all this ripping and stuff is too much, please let me know again. I'll move away from the speaker and do it a little bit further away. Nada Joe Rogan is here. Maybe I can uh, get you on the podcast. <laughs> Joe Rogan's based in Texas now. 
Is he? I didn't realize it was based in Texas. For some reason, I thought it was in California. As long as he doesn't get me to eat bugs, <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay, we need to have a little garbage area. Actually, yeah, we'll just put the garbage area there. Okay, let me put packing tape on this. We'll put shirtless Kylo on here. He moved to Austin. He moved to Austin from LA. Okay, so he was in LA. Good. Get out of LA, man. Hollywood is poison. gonna happen to this baby <laughs> right hollywood is mad jaded mask how are you doing welcome welcome my favorite wrestler of all time stone cold steve austin is from victoria victoria texas oh hell yeah victoria texas i'm in victoria canada lark bark hollywood is mad i met stone cold at a nascar race in dallas laugh a lot i was like 10 haha <laughs> dude is huge yeah no kidding Elder God, I'm so glad I don't have headphones in. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be really loud. Maybe, I hope not. Loving this ASMR tape bagging. Awesome, awesome, good stuff. I'm from Cali, so I'm definitely familiar with Hollywood. It, it's insane. Yeah, I've been there so many times. And 18 years ago, I said enough is enough. I stopped going there. Okay, this is shirtless Kylo. I'm not going to put the address on it yet. I'm just going to... Because I have to figure out where to put the addresses and stuff. So I'm just going to tape this on here and put this on the side. So shirtless Carlo, your package is ready to go. Okay, I'll have this out the door in a couple of days. Get out of California. <laughs> and by the way, anybody in Cali, uh, we love you. Hey Chicho, hope all is good. The Welsh Dragon, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Jay Trump <laughs> lots of Carnells voted for Trump moment. Yeah, I don't think so. Thanks, Chicho. I don't think a lot of Cali people voted. Uh, Biden definitely takes Cali. My pleasure. Shirtless. We're gonna put this here. Let's put this guy here. So we know we got one thing packed up. Should we go one jam, one comic? Elder God. Let me show you what I got. Check this out. So Elder God, I want to put the address here. Elder God got the Google Boy comics, right? I think he dropped like 80,000 <laughs> Twitch points on this, right? So these are comic books, Google Boy comic books that I published in mid 1990s, era, uh, early 1990s, mid 1990s, right? So Google Boy number one, right? First continuing series LGBT superhero comic book series right first lgbt continuing 60,000 points 60,000 points first lgbt uh superhero comic book continuing uh, continuing superhero comic book series right issue number one it's rare okay important comic book series if i say so myself issue number two okay issue number three issue number three Issue number four. Okay. Uh, no, not number four. <laughs> the Ashcan issue. <laughs> not number four. Ashcan issue. Okay. Lark Bark. Yeah, the covers are beautiful. Gang, these covers are absolutely beautiful. And this character here, uh, she's the invisible lesbian. 
right? And I asked uh, Neil Johnson, the creator of his comic book, why he, she, he called her the invisible lesbian. And he said, when, uh, when you talk to the LGBT community, um, lesbians to a certain degree feel invisible because the world sort of leans in a certain way, looks in a certain way. It's, it's very interesting, right? Kebab, how were you doing? Kebabs, we got a package here for you. After this one, we do yours, okay, since you're here. And Mask of, is it Jaded Mask is here too? We got uh, Jaded Mask stuff here too. So maybe we'll do both of you guys. And check this out, Elder God. I found a handful of these, okay. I found a handful of this and it's related to Gogo -Go Boy, okay. Ooh, guy, being straight is okay too. Being, being LGBT, being whoever you want to be is good, man. Yo, Jaded Mask, check this out, Elder God. When I put out Gogo -Go Boy, it, it was pretty big deal in the LGBT community, right? In the comic books, uh, the comic books are funny. They're, there's a lot of censorship and control in the comic book community, right? The LGBT community is open, extremely. I realized this after I got into the scene. I was like, oh, wow, this is insane, right? There's an LGBTQ uh, magazine. Uh, and this was in Canada, United States, I believe, okay, that got a wind of what we we're doing. And they did an interview with the creator of Google -Go Boy, Neil Johnson, right? So it's like the Time magazine of the LGBTQ community, at least in Canada anyway, right? It was it's pretty big. It's a pretty, pretty important. I don't know if it's still around, actually. Check this out. They even put him on the cover. I'm going to send you this as well. <laughs> this is the creator of uh, Gogo -Go Boy. This is the creator of Gogo -Go Boy, right? So it says, cartoonist, check this out. Cartoonist Neil Johnson goes places with Gogo -Go Boy. Gogo -Go West, special West Coast issue. And there's an interview with, with him. Okay. We're going to throw this in there too. <laughs> awesome. I, mean, I when this came out, I grabbed a handful of these. So this was one I came across when I was going through boxes and stuff. I was like, oh, man, this has got to go with this, right? This has got to go with this. I figure you appreciate, right? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know if Icon Magazine is still around. Uh, at the time in the early 1990s, the mid 1990s is huge. And check this out. LGBT community threw parties for Google Boy, raves, nightclubs. Um, we're throwing parties, having superhero costume shows and stuff like this and whatnot. Diamond Comics refused to carry Gogo -Go Boy. That's the level of censorship and, <laughs> and uh, craziness involved in uh, monopolies, distributors controlling things, right? I live in a big LGBT... Oh, dude. <laughs> superhero costume. Yeah yeah in issue number three in issue number three there, there was a nightclub in denver that got a wind of us doing gogo -Go boy they said we're going to do a special night for gogo -Go boy mermaid comics and they held uh a drag they had the mistress of the ceremonies a drag queen do a runway superhero people dressed up in their own superheroes uh, outfits right and the winner we had promised that we we're gonna feature as a villain or a hero we had we hadn't decided right villain or a hero in a future gogo -Go boy comic book series we never got a comic book issue we never got to it however we did a full page spread in issue number three of all the people that had dressed up as superheroes uh, and it's in, in issue number three should i show you elder god you're okay with me opening this and showing this on stream i just wanted to inform you that i'm moving this week so if you'd like you can give the jam to someone i do appreciate it regardless uh, though oh kebabs where's where's uh where's your thing where is kebabs what's going on oh here it is so kebabs uh this guy so if you're moving i can hold on to it Kebabs, when you move somewhere, I'll send it your way. Okay, you let me know. Okay, you let me know. So I'm okay holding on to it until you're ready. 
send me your new address and I'll send it there. It's the mystery, I think it's crab apple, but it's the mystery jam. Okay, got the head out, shirtless Kylo. Okay, hope everyone has a pleasant rest of your, you, I hope you have a fantastic day as well, shirtless Kylo. Should I open it up? Elder God, let me show it. Elder guy's smiling. Check this out. I think it's an issue number three. <laughs> and a page before this there's pictures of the people dressed up in the drag queen in the in their costumes take a look can you tell which one i am i'm in there as well i'm over here with the mistress of the ceremonies <laughs> with a 70s style mustache but for your eyes only i guess elder god right jaded mass that being said if you you're dead set on not getting it kebabs i'd be happy to relieve you of the burden jaded mass says let's see what kebabs says sure no problem i just didn't want to put you through the trouble of everything thank you no problem man jaded mask it's all yours yeah are you sure kebabs so it goes to jaded mask as long as chicho is fine yeah for sure no no he'll hold it man <laughs> It's all good. Too generous. Okay, you got look, kebabs. Let me know. Jaded Mass says he's good with receiving it. You say you're okay with taking it, but Jaded Mass says he's just kidding. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with holding it. Young Chicho, Elder God, in my early twenties. Here is the he did a two page spread of uh, the characters that had dressed up in the nightclub costume party. Check this out, and all of them had the uh, like they they went on the runway right check it out i think it's this middle guy that won i can't remember really it won't uh, back down kebabs jaded mask have it i'm turkish so i won't back down okay you can't turn it down now okay done so he, here's the name of the people that ran as the costume thing uh toy wonder uh alan the wish granter uh, super sex pony <laughs> super sex pony was the her right here right super sex pony she man princess piglet of power uh super slut uh wonder fag go go girl ah right on uh green queen <laughs> And Eurocop 2000. <laughs> Eurocop 2000. I remember this guy. Super funny. Super funny. Anyway, I figured I'd show you this. I'm English. So I take free things when offered. I'll, I'll find a way to thank you. Okay, Jaded Mask is taking it. So I'm going to move this. Hold on. This is going with Jaded Mask. Okay. This is coming to you, Jaded Mask. Kebabs, right on. You're very generous. Oop. So we take Kabob's name off this. We put it here. Yeah, okay, we put that guy there. So let's put this bag, let's pack this up. Where's my tape? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we've got to pack this up. Um, I should put another cover on this. Should put another co great comics larvae thank you man that I, I was very proud of it very proud of it dun, 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 dun. now we're gonna put this let's check this out let's see yeah that's perfect that fits on there i got lots of these little cardboards and stuff from packages i've received in the past right Let's see what we can do. Pack this up nicely. This has got to go to UK, so. So 
Let's put this on top of this. We'll flip these guys around. We'll put uh, number one and number three in the ash can facing like this. Let's put these guys here. Actually, we'll do this. Come on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a grab a magazine size board to put it on top of this guy. Okay. The f my family home has a patio for deliveries, so it's all good. Okay. Hey, Chicho, how are you? Marco, how are you doing? I'm listening for today as I am reading George Orwell, 1984. Very cool. Okay, Alder God. I'm just gonna get a cover for this. Okay. Wood for um, board for this. Let's put this on here too, just to protect it. Uh, legend, that would be amazing. Favorite fiction character. I'll do a sketch. Ah, oh, nice. Jaden Max says to Kevos, what's your favorite fictional character? I'll do a sketch for you. Awesome. Kevos like, you're a, you're a fucking awesome legend. That would be amazing. <laughs> I'll need to think. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At least I can do. HMU when uh, you think of it. Okay, okay. If my dad opens my mail by accident, I may have to explain myself. Okay, so we're gonna put it like this so it doesn't get damaged, right? So let's lock this up. Will your dad know uh, what it is though? And let's put these in a bag and tighten up these guys. this yeah let's center this probably going to be there for the sir you know what elder god this thing uh, I sent packages to UK before without the tracking just regular thing and one of the packages took over two months to get there so we'll see how long this takes big protest in Nottingham that's on Saturday cool cool so we need uh, Should we put it in this? This is big. This is big. That's big. Let's see what this one has. Is this too small? Oh, this will work. Let's check it out. Yeah, maybe we can fit it in here, right? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. Nice. You know 
what uh, should I put foam around this? You know what? I'm gonna put one layer of the bubble stuff on it. Big pros. Yeah. Let's put a one layer of these bubble around it. Not this guy, but let's do this guy. Put it in it should tighten it up i lost stream for a minute there did you uh oh hopefully we didn't lose the stream are we still there yeah we're still there cool hopefully we didn't lose the stream so let's see if this is going to be tight oh that's good cool that works Check this out. Pretty good. So that should be plenty of protection for it to go through. And uh, this, it's got my address and stuff here because I this is something I got in the mail before. And I'll package the stuff, tighten it up, and take out the name and stuff and uh, put your name and address on there afterwards and just take this off. Perfect. Come on. Nice. So let's just close this up. Leave it like that and I'll put more tape and stuff around it more. I have two pubs now. I need to visit hometown to organize. Oh, your new, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Your new pub is it, uh, is your hometown, which is fantastic by the way, which is fantastic. Two pubs, man. If I was in the UK, I'd have a drinking problem with all they gone. <laughs> Let's put this on here. We got two things packaged up. Jaded mask, you're next. Jaded mask. We got, what do we got? Oh, jaded mask. You're going to get two different types of crab apples. This is what you won, right? This is the crab apple we had from last year, I believe. And this is the mystery. I believe this is the mystery crab apple. Okay. I didn't label it. So, uh, this one is from two years ago or three years ago it it might be a little bit dry up top when you crack it open to eat it okay we cracked them because you know it gets a little bit off i mean it's sealed it's it's okay it'll last a long time right um but it gets juicier in the bottom right Oops. and i've signed this guy do you want me to sign one of these guys or both of these guys jaded mask and this is going to Should I say where it's going to Jaded Mask? I feel like the bell of the box. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we need a box for this. Let's check this out. Is this too big? Let's check this out. Here's a box. Let's see, is this gonna work? This should work. These are actually biodegradable, but I don't like these. Any surface you can sign, feel free. Okay, let me do it. Let me do it. Chicken scratch coming up. <laughs> I 
I don't know how many jams have been signed, but we've got jams signed. So let's see. This is good. That's good, right? Yeah, let's put it in this. Let me see if I got a... This is the same size as that one. This guy is a little bit smaller. Let's check this out. This might be a little too tight. This might be a little too tight. No, I'm more comfortable with this one. We're gonna put it in that one. And then we're gonna dump these foamy things in here. And this baby, where is this baby going? You can say where. I live in the woods. It would be so hard to find me knowing where I live. This this thing is going from the west coast of Canada to the east coast of the United States, New York. New York. Crab apples picked by Chicho on two different years. Made with organic cane sugar from the west coast of Canada on the island, going to New York on the east coast. I would have an obvious drinking problem if I live in the UK <laughs> because here in the US, I had one. <laughs> Lord Bark says, luckily for me, I'm sober now. I'm loving it. Yeah, me, I don't, I don't drink. The only thing I really drink, uh, Lark Bark, as you guys know, is my liqueurs, right? Every now and then a little bit of wine, uh, but that's about it. Hey, Captain, New York City, big city of dreams. Carlos, got some pomegranates from my uncle that drives a truck with produce all around the US. I tell you, man, these have got to be the juiciest. Really, I, I, I bought a batch last month of pomegranates and they were fantastic. I gotta go find another supply. Have you been? Yeah, I've been to New York. Yeah. Crazy city. <laughs> what a unique place. What a unique place. So let's pack these up. Let's do. You know what? Should we put some of the foamies in there? Let's wrap. Let's wrap up this guy first. I bet New York City must be jam packed. Ha ha! Large bark. Okay, that'll work. There's only one person that hasn't given their address, and that's Knights of Old Comic. Knights of Old Comic. Crazy city. Crazier woman. Though I live in one long island. A little less hectic. Cool. Let's kill this part. Let's get too much garbage tape on it.
so they both fit pretty good take a look not bad chicho sean yo how are you doing that's the suburbs correct but i heard you can uh, see the city from your backyard i live in long island long island whoops that was meant for jade man <laughs> my lord yeah just east of the city itself you can see the city from certain areas cool 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 an hour out and you still see it you know what i'm gonna put some of these foamy things in there and these are uh, supposed to be biodegradable jaded masks so i think you can recycle these i just kept them all because uh, or I, I don't know if you can recycle them but i think they just break down into uh cane like sugar based or something from what i understand cardos chicho i've never been much into a vast majority of comics other than batman i really don't know much about the comic world any anything more underground you can recommend a more of a true crime sort of guy true crime sort of guy uh, oh yeah read the uh, ed brubaker's uh, i think it's called true crime <laughs> ed brubaker's uh, uh i think it's ed brubaker's true crime a anything ed brubaker almost anything ed brubaker if you're looking for like crime uh, crime type of stuff Do you like reading film noir or uh, neo noir comic books? Um, I've read some. I've read some. Um, it really depends. It really depends on the writing style and uh, and whatnot, right? And my mood. It really depends on the mood as well. Like. What are some amazing noir comics that I've read? Uh, well, Frank Miller's Sin City is amazing, of course, right? The title is uh, True Crime, and I'm looking for True Crime series. Sounds perfect. I think it's called True Crime. You know what? I'm going to look this up. Ed Brubaker, True Crime. Hopefully, I won't lose the stream. I don't think I will, okay? Because I'm connected up. Ed Brubaker. Ed Brubaker true crime like, is it called true crime ed brubaker is it called true crime i gotta look this up man dc uh, image what's it called uh fatal is fa fantastic fade out wait a second DC Comics, uh, Marvel Comics, Image. Oh, no, it's called Killer Be Killed. Not True Crime. Killer Be Killed. It's uh, it's pretty good. This I'm going to give you the link. Killer Be Killed by Ed Brubaker. And I've recommended this before um, to you guys in the comic book streams. Okay, Kill or Be Killed. And there is a True Crime comics from the Golden Age of Comics um, that I have some. And they're really good. But uh, this is really good. Kill or Be Killed by Ed, Brubaker, uh, Ed Brubaker. I've read the first four issues, and it was it was it was fun. Hell yeah, thanks, man. My my pleasure, Carlos. And then if you like his writing style, pick up some of the other stuff that he's done. Okay. I'll be cooking with you tomorrow. Awesome, Elder God. Jaden Math Chicho. If I send you the new uh, Warhammer four thousand K comic book, would you do a reading? Uh, it's well written received uh, uh, received from what I hear uh, really is it 4,000 Kong uh, is it recent it must be recent yeah uh, possibly we could do yeah we could do jaded mass for sure why not let's do yeah and 4,000 uh, of Warhammer 4,000 4,000 K uh, 40,000 why not Let's 
pack this nicely. Brand new call called Marnos Calgar, the origin of big player uh in the overarching narrative war Pfft, let's do it jaded mask done deal <laughs> tight this is good should get there safe and sound right let me take off this label the address thing Hope you like the jam, Jaded Mask. Or the crab apple butter anyway. Okay, this one is good right now. I'll tighten up later. I'm going to put this jaded mask on here, put your dress on there. Nice. There you go, brother. <laughs> yeah, that'll be safe coming to you. Okay, what else we got? Should we do one more uh, comic book? Let's do another comic book. Let's do another comic book. Who's Okay, is there anybody here that you won anything during the anniversary? The last stream if you're here and you want something maybe we'll do whatever you want okay so let me know well i'll give you a couple of minutes uh a minute to reply if you want something uh let me know we'll package your thing up first instead of just going randomly we could go with uh, uh comic books wise we got crack we got ding bobber uh we got coolio with uh, a couple of bucks uh, well, with one book anyway, with uh, Psychedelic Guide. We got Ding Bobber with Psychedelic Guide as well. We got uh, Welsh Dragons with Lander, Cheryl with uh, uh, Starry Night. Welsh Dragons, could you do my. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Welsh Dragons, your comic book is next. Let me put this guy here. Welsh dragons going to Wales. <laughs> nice. Put this here. Here's the lander books that Welsh dragons got. Connor, how are you doing? Beans, how's life? I always win here. Win here. Wasting time without st uh, staring at the wall is always a win. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Bean. Cheryl's, Cheryl's lurking. Okay. Here's Lander. Lander issue number one. Okay. Dick Ayers cover. Great gatefold cover. Lander issue number two. Okay. And Lander trade paperback is a reprint of issue number one, number two, and the third issue that we've just put out in the trade paperback, right? So that's this is welsh dragons i'm gonna put them in a, a magazine bag just to keep it tight okay. Nice and tight. Nice. I got one more of these guys. So we 
put it into this. Let me see how tight is this. Good. Right? Beans, isn't it amazing on how much color, color cost and copies? Or I guess it just, uh, that's so, so many copies. It adds up. So, uh, that's pretty good, actually. Welsh dragons? Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to put foam around it, too. Okay. Just to protect it one level more. Let's do four more on that pretty good. Quality does not have to be in color. I just tuned in and think you're shipping some of uh, your own comics. Am I right? In indeed, uh, Beans. This is the comics that we uh, auctioned off in last stream, right? As our 1000th uh, YouTube video upload, right? So these are the mermaid comics that uh, we're shipping out. Nice. I'm just going to close this up. Just so you know, the the Gogo Boy comic books, uh, like all of these comics are pretty very rare, right? The Gogo Boy comic books, there's one person selling them on eBay. Uh, it's pretty expensive. There's one guy selling issue number three for like eighty dollars or seventy dollars, and he's selling or that person or that store is selling the Ashcan issue number one and issue number two with a couple of other things. It doesn't even include issue number three, just a photocopy of issue number three. They, they've listed it for like over $200, right? You need to do a cooking stream. I'm doing a cooking stream tomorrow. We're doing hamburgers and fries tomorrow. Chicho burgers and fries. Okay, 
So I'm gonna tighten this up later. Uh, Welsh dragons. Okay. It's there. So I'll put the addresses on it properly and uh, and whatnot. So I'm just gonna put this here so we know where this is going. And another one done. That's four so far. Cool. Almost done anyway. I'll have this out the door in a couple of days. Okay. What time? The cooking stream tomorrow, Connor, is from uh, 12 p.m. Uh, PDT, my time, West Coast, Canada, United States. And we'll most likely go for about four hours. Okay. We'll most likely go about four, for four hours. We're going to do our cutlets, uh, sort of Armenian, Persian style of hamburgers. And we can barbecue them, but it's false. We're not going to barbecue them. I'm going to cook them in the oven. Okay. And we're going from uh, 12 to 4 around. So bad that we have different times. Uh, no, no, Jocelyn, Joycelyn, Jocelyn. I won't be able to see the godlike bird. <laughs> God -like bird. You won't be able to see it. Where were you at, uh, Jocelyn? The what? looks great can't wait to read them awesome awesome i hope you like them man i'm very proud of the i'm proud of all the, i put out like 15 16 issues of comic books i'm proud of all of them except one because the inker jammed out and we had to get the penciler to do the inking and i did some of the and i did lettering on gogo -Go boy and um a couple of issue number three of google i can't remember what i did what for i did whatever needed to be done to get these books out the door right Oh, 11, 30, 11 p.m. your time. Okay, that's late. Moldova, Moldova. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Moldova? So it's going to be 11 p.m. your time. Yeah, that's late for a burger. Spilt pea soup. I made it was good, Bean says. Had to resort to food bank after my move from first month. I hope I can get my feet on the ground. I hope so too, Beans. Uh, make sure you're solid, man. There's a lot of um, instability out there, right? Carlos, hamburgers and fries. Now we are talking. Need to stop by and grab some Wagyu patties. Wagyu patties. I don't know what those are. So, gang, is there anybody else here? Uh, Cheryl's lurking. We did comic books. We could do jam or we could do another comic book. What should we do? Uh, if there's anybody here that won any, any of these things, let us know. We'll package that up. Okay. I'm gonna eat. Look at this. Look at this juiciness of these guys. Yeah, autumn olives. Look at that goodness. Seriously, the vitamin C in this is insane. Comics, okay. Let's do Cheryl's. So this is another bunch of comics I did that looks delicious too, by the way. Yeah, they're so good. It's a local tree that we went and picked the, picked the autumn olives from. And the owners like you and the spar sparrows are the only things that come and pick these berries to eat them. I'm like, smart birds. Starry night number one. Okay. By the way, any comic book people here, here's a question, okay. What's the first comic book series exclusively done by a female character? That means the writing, the cover, the art. What's a comic book series that was the first comic book series that was done? Not a female comic book creator that worked on a title with other people, right? What's the comic book, either issue or series, or both preferably, that exclusively was done by a female creator? I, I don't know the answer, but Starry Night is a female creator that did all of it, right? The writing, the art, the inking, the covers, everything, okay? And this came out in 1994, right? Issue number two. Issue number three. 
and a mortal coil ash can it's got a mortal coil issue number one and uh, google boy uh, parts of google boy ash can in there as well okay so let's flip this let's do this let's do this let's do this Should have scheduled two of these strings to pack these things up. Okay. By the way, gang, uh, I haven't been keeping track, but uh, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. If you're following and subbing, okay. Apologies if I'm not on the ball on that front. So this is especially for the comic books, right? You go, whoop, right? Another author that appears during this time was Annie Gutzinger, Gut Gut who worked in a realistic art nu uh, nouveau style and drew adventures with female protagonists. She frequently collaborated with Pierre Christen and has won two awards at the en Englum uh, Festival. I can't find the answer. I don't know the comic uh, name she wrote. Oh, and when was it? Was that in the uh, early 1990s, Beans? Early, mid-1990s? I, I went to a couple comic book forums uh, in the past and asked them, and I've done this multiple times, and no one seems to know the answer. I know there was like uh, uh, Severn, um, Jody Severn? Jill, oh, I forget, Jill Severn? Uh, that uh, was uh, a brother and sister team that worked in the golden age of comics. But there were female creators that collaborated with, you know, they did the coloring, they did the lettering, they did, uh, someone did inking and stuff like this. Uh, but there wasn't, I couldn't find any answers on a female comic book creator, exclusively female comic book creator com uh, series, right? Very difficult. The history of comics is so in depth. Uh, it, it's incredible, really. Yeah, I've Elder God. I've looked around. It's it, like I I've, I've been meaning to go to some um, female like historian feminist uh, like forums and ask questions and see 
if anybody knows the info I don't know like the only one I know is starry night the earliest one that I know is starry night after that um, like uh, uh, what do you call it the uh, monstrous is two female creators that are working on it right from image comics that i'm reading is phenomenal right uh before during that period uh, i don't know I, I really don't know i don't know and at the time when i was printing this uh when i decided to print starry night i for me i didn't really think about male female it didn't register with me i just liked it and i thought oh fantastic let's print this and then later on i found out that the comic book medium has been very so much censorship and uh, so much things going on with it is after the fact right i would say if they're is one 1970s at the earliest uh, me too I, I would i'm thinking there should be at least one in the 1980s but i really can't find any 1970s might be like even pushing it a little bit too far 1980s i was thinking but i haven't come across anything like impossible to find for me anyway let's see if we can this is like a little baggy bubble baggy let's see if this fits oh perfect look at that <laughs> nice. Yeah, this will work. All right, that should get there. Get there nice and safe and sound. Let's close this up. It's got a lot of unnecessary tape here that I'll have to take care of, but good Cheryl is really taped up if she ends up watching this is really taped up but uh, I'll try to clean it up maybe okay. Actually, let's see if we can clean this up right now out of this as well i can't find i'm looking for solutions not a knowledgeable person yeah yeah i i looked around i couldn't find anything man. i have a memory of a female artist from the 70s i just can't place the source was it was it independent elder god somebody else's address on the on, under this as well 